Hello everyone and welcome back to my couch and to my channel. Um, I thought I would just make a quick little video today because I haven't made a video in a long time and I give you a quick little update and I will make it quick. Um, it is raining here which is a miracle and it's so very wonderful. Um, also I threw up these pillows to try to make it look nicer and um, I actually made these. I made all my, I didn't make this one, but all the other pillows you see in the house I've made, which I don't know if you see them laying on the floor. Yeah. But yeah, these are really super nice. Anyways, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Sorry, that's really close. I'll pull you back. Um, I have had a lot going on. Um, I know that some of you have left comments and I will reply very soon. I'm so sorry that my anxiety has just been so very high that I couldn't it's been a lot for me and I I do get really anxious about replying to comments. Even like I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such a nice comment. Like what do I say? How do I reply? How do they know if they like understand me? It's just a social thing and I just I'm bad at it. I always have. I overthink things. Um I let's see. Oh, I am obsessed with uh What's that called? Liquid lipstick. Oh my gosh. It's like the new thing and I'm like, <laughs> I already have enough lipstick, but this liquid lipstick is amazing. And the liquid lipsticks from Wet n Wild are actually quite nice. Um, here, here's the first update is a PVC pipe. Um, this little guy <laughs> is out here because I was making a wraparound curtain and I had an extra piece and so when someone attempted to break in my home the other day that was my defense weapon me and my PJs and my fluffy socks like and a PVC pipe and it's not even like that big it is a half inch three quarter inch PVC pipe it might even be a quarter inch because I went off the outer size not the inner size so I don't know. I'll show you the finished product when it's done. That's the kind of the first thing, and it's gotten me very anxious. Like, oh my gosh, I'm not able to sleep. But um, today I woke up and I put on makeup. Maybe too much makeup, but you know, sometimes you just keep going, <laughs> and it just makes you feel great. You just keep going, and you're like, ooh, that's pretty. I'm glowing all over because... Um, I've had really bad acne, so I put on a wet foundation, which I almost never do, and then I was like, I miss my bronzy type of powder, so I put that on too. So I have a wet foundation, plus both of the powders I like to put on my face, plus the blush. I'm just like this like glowy... I was like, because it looked different, I was like, I don't like this look. I don't like different. But it was covering up my acne pretty well. So, yes. Um, yeah, because also I had, before the acne, I had a horrible allergic reaction. So I got um, this, like my whole face covered up in like blisters and then they peeled. And like I still have skin peeling. But I'm getting really bad like hormonal acne here and here since the allergic reaction so what I have going on everywhere else is just healing blisters and it's like and my hormonal acne as well here and I feel like I don't know if this is a double chin or if this is just like your trachea like it's not super okay I feel like that's just just my body <laughs> It's a part of my body. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, I hope I'm not covering up the speaker. I always do that. Um, this is an update video. My house is coming along. It looked really great about 24 hours ago. And then because it was looking so great, I was like, oh, I'll do a project. And I made the entire house look horrible again. <laughs> so I'll show you really quick what's going on. Can you see? Um... This actually was a cleaned up area, and then I decided to pull it away from the, um, the, uh, wall and do my cabling project. So right now I'm working on 
um, having all the cables go back through the little like holes in the entertainment center and get connected back there and then come up through the hole to connect to the TV. It's like, so it's a thing, but I'm super happy. It looks so much better already. I just need to run a 50 foot, um, oh, this is in the shot, <laughs> a 50 foot, um, internet cable from like up there down the wall it has to be really long because it's like 10 feet and then 18 or 14 feet and then it needs to go wait what no 10 20 oh 20 20 feet 14's in the bedroom so 10 20 feet so I was 30 feet and then I wanted to give it extra playroom and and like it came in like 20 foot cable and a 50 foot cable so you know one was too small and one was too big but that's life so I um I am just working on that and I have to also figure out I found a VHS player guys <laughs> so I can watch all the old VHS's it's so exciting <laughs> I'm such a weird person I don't know and I have to figure out how to connect it to the TV um, and find the right cable but uh, this is getting really detailed for an update video. Um, what was my other update? <laughs> what was the reason I turned on this camera for? Um, it is September. Uh, oh, um, I've been exercising. I have my treadmill and then I got this on Let It Go. Biggest stipulation was that I had to be able to take it apart and have Allen wrenches and I was like oh <laughs> I've got this no problem so all of my tools that I like never get to use because I'm not building theater sets anymore currently um, I got to use them I'm also not redoing any furniture so that like I'm just super happy that they're coming into use I was like you need an Allen wrench <laughs> like, I have like three different sets for the different um, I have two that's like metric in America I don't know they're they're close in size but they are different and they're on two different it's hard to explain it's like it's like a flip out knife only full of allen wrenches and it this they're very similar in size but they are different and I so I think it is metric and standard but um and then I have another one that's like has like big huge one it's like a set that has like really monstrous ones and then itty, 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 tiny ones for like glasses so like I literally like came to this like let it go or offer up appointment like with like you needed Helen wrenches <laughs> like I was mm -hmm. I was like I've got you and they needed one like there was only one that was needed for the whole machine but <laughs> I came with like 30 <laughs> um Let's see. Um, yeah, I'll just let me just let me just say while you can see my face that there was a comment left on an other video from a while back, um, my dear Gabby video, and I just want to say thank you so much. Um, and I have read your comment, and I found it. I guess I was like str I like was struggling so hard on how to reply because like I've been struggling with how I feel about the video like not about what I say but just the fact that I'm angry and I don't like to be angry when I make content I'd like to calm down first and then be calm even if I'm still upset um but thank you so much for your comment it was so encouraging and also I was like blown away by the fact that you found my video the way you did and that kind of gave me a panic attack <laughs> I'm so sorry that I didn't reply I just got so anxious and like I literally I'll show them to you sometime maybe I don't know you, you, you don't care about that um that was dumb um but yeah anyways this is uncut so there that is um like I was writing up like notes on how to reply and like I just got really socially anxious you're a very nice person and your comment was very lovely and thank you so much and I'm so glad you're here on the channel. I hope you subscribed. Um, I can't figure out how to see who has subscribed and who hasn't, which is okay. You guys can have your privacy. Um, I don't need to see everyone's username. 
but I'm so happy that if you are here, that you're here. And thank you for your comments. Um, and to other people who have commented, um, I'm sorry, I haven't replied to you yet. Thank you so much for commenting. I will go through and comment, which I don't know if that's weird to comment like a month or two after or three. But anyways, as you guys can see from the channel, I've really pared down on the amount of footage I was making. Um, my body was part of that. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but um, I just got to a point where, like, I haven't gained weight in many months. I've been the same weight. But I just got to a point where after leaving hormone therapy and finally my body like settling out, I was so frustrated with how I looked that I just lost my confidence on camera. And I just found it really hard to pick it up and talk to you guys. And I know that's not very fair to you because everyone who's ever been on here has always been the nicest and the kindest people. I have never gotten hate. Like, I mean, and I don't think like being like, oh, well, the most time you've ever had subscribers was like 11 or something. But I mean, I think that it doesn't matter how many you do or don't have. Um, I value each and every single person and every single person who has been here on this channel has been kind and I very much appreciate that. So I know it's not fair to you that I kind of stopped picking up the camera because I became anxious. Um, I'm sorry I've turned into a glowy halo as well. Like there we go. Okay. <laughs> like, I didn't put on that much highlighter. I didn't, actually didn't put on any highlighter. I just, it's, it's bronzer all over my face. Um, yeah, so I know it's not really fair to you, um, but it just kind of happened and I did, I do, I do have a lot of self-hate and that's something that like I do talk about on the channel because I think everyone struggles with self-hate and it's a very natural and normal inclination and I think sometimes people can feel like, oh, don't normalize self-hate, self-love, 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 which is good. Self-love is good. But if we only preach self-love, then what about the people who are failing at self-love? Like, what about the people like me who are experiencing self-hate? Um, what happens then? We feel worse, like, oh, I... Mm, I don't love myself. I'm feeling I should love myself. Why aren't I like that person? I don't have that confidence. And I think just normalizing self hate, hear me out in the sense of like, oh, that's normal. Like lots of people feel that way. Lots of people like the way I speak to myself about my body in the mirror, like, like I would never ever one, say that to another person, but also to think that. Like, I see other people who are, like, exactly like me, and I am jealous of them. I think they're so beautiful. And I'm like, then I'm like, wait, what? Wait, hold on. They look just like me. They're just the same size. They're wearing pretty much the same type of outfit as me, but they're rocking it. Like, so are you. Um, You know what I mean? Like, I think it is a very normal and natural thing to feel. And when you can say that and be like, okay, this is kind of, this is normal, this is natural, but it's not real. I think that is a very healthy approach and it's helped me a lot. And it's also what my therapist tells me to do. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I just kind of normalize it. And for me, that's really healthy and helpful and like, I'm not the lone wolf. I'm not the only person in the world who's been on hormone therapy. I'm not the only person in the world who has struggled with emotional eating. I'm not the only person in the world who has had an eating disorder and so is scared. I'm literally terrified of calorie restriction. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I, if I start restricting my calories and counting them, I will end up in the hospital. Like I will, I'll end up in the hospital. Like mm. I get this fear, this like over, like this tumbling effect that like, if I even just start, I will go down that road and I will just be completely anorexic and um, starving myself to the point of intervention. I will, I will. And um, I'm not the only person who feels that way. Like I can't be. 
And that's where I say normalizing it, not normalizing it in the sense of like, it's okay and keep doing it. Like the keep doing it part is the part that's unhealthy, but it's completely normal. Lots of people feel the way you feel. Um, I always like to think of being a math person, like statistics, like the bell curve, right? If you've ever been in statistics class and you've learned about, I'm trying to draw the bell curve and this is like not working, the bell curve. Like every human aspect, will fall upon a bell curve and the edges are your more like less statistically probable and then more and more statistically probable and it's got this and sometimes it's a sharp bell and sometimes it's a bit more smoother and like um like people's opinions and eye color hair color weight you know i mean everything kind of falls that's the theory is that every every human aspect falls upon a bell curve and then you have random outliers right so even like in mental health right you could be down here statistically and you're still gonna have millions of people with you i mean this bell curve is based off of billions of people and then when we look at america it's like over 300 million people that we're looking at so you have to understand that even if you're down here on the the lower tiny edge of the bell curve versus like up here you're still there with millions of people. Like, you're never alone. There are random outliers um, that, like for example, um, I might be getting this all wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But if I am, like just, eh, I, eh whatever. Take comfort from it and ignore the fact that it's wrong. I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I'm getting nervous now. Um, like for example, like let's say violence, like people's idea of violence, like, We'll have, like, some people who, you know, tie themselves to trees, won't squish ants, are the most passive, peaceful people in the world, right? They're down here. And then as we move up, you kind of get the more, like, shy, don't like scary movies type of people. And then you get, like, most of the people in the world kind of fall, like, around here, which is, like, the standard kind of normal, like, a little bit of scary, a little bit of violence. Violence is okay here and there, da-da-da-da. And then you get over here and you get the more aggressive people, da-da-da-da-da. Down here you get the people who, like, are, like, super aggressive, super physical, really intense, et cetera, et cetera. Now, our random outliers are going to be, like, the serial killers. Like, they're, like, around there, okay? The random outliers are little points, and they're, like, it's like a splatter, spatter, bleh, spatter, spatter, splatter, crap. And they're, like, little points that are just, like, off the, off the bell curve. And those are going to be your random people. And most likely, most likely, you're not one of those people, whatever it comes to. So... Um, and if you are, you know it, right? Okay. Like if we're looking at the weight of America or whatever it is, whatever normal is, right? So like if we were a really skinny nation, right? This large gap would be like 